Meantime, people preparing for the worst along the southeastern seacoast, including those with Wisconsin ties. Fox 6's Bill Miston joining us with how the slow moving hurricane is having a ripple effect on people's lives. Bill, good evening. Good evening, Mary. People's travel plans upended by Dorian and Florida transplants from Wisconsin battening down their homes to write out whatever might be thrown their way. Hurricane Dorian now moving as close to a snail's pace as possible, virtually parked over the Bahamas. Forecasted now to steer clear of South Florida, some travelers out of Milwaukee going through with their plans. Up until yesterday, we were unsure of what exactly we were going to do, but with the change of course, we decided to just go ahead and get down there and see what happens. I'm feeling terrible. Hoping nothing goes awry. I have skylights on the roof of my house, and that's what I'm expecting to blow away. For us, we are getting some outer bands of rain. It will pour and then it will clear up. And then as a matter of fact, it's getting windier and windier, but the sun is shining. It's just, you know, it's the calm before the storm. Susan Vaccaro and her family moved from Milwaukee to Florida back in 2006. <laughs> trading winters for picturesque year round weather, save for the hurricanes. This will be the third one. It's the last one I want to do. But she and her family are writing this one out and have an evacuation plan in place in case Dorian gets too dicey. While no real damage yet, Vicaro says it's the stress of planning, prepping, and waiting for more than a week to see roofs flying off. what will happen that gets to you. You can only do what you can do as far as prep, put on shutters, you know, batten things down, bring in all the patio furniture, the pots, the hoses, anything that could be a projectile you bring in and then you hurry up and wait. Yeah, that's the hardest part. A lot of hurry up and waiting as well for two dozen Red Cross volunteers from Wisconsin who are already positioned in the southeastern U.S. waiting and watching to see what uh, Hurricane Dorian might do. We Energy's officials also telling Fox 6 the utility company hasn't been asked to help in power restoration efforts, but the company has released its contracted crews from scheduled work to assist in repairing any damage Dorian may cause. Reporting in the newsroom, Bill Miston. Fox 6 News. Those people just looking for some peace. Hopefully they get it. Bill, thank you. In the meantime, the Fox